Welcome to Renexcel.com. In this session, you are going to see about how to install and set up Asterisk 13 PBX on CentOS 7. Asterisk PBX is an open source communication server released under the GPL license maintained by Asterisk community. Asterisk is used for creating communication application that turns an ordinary computer into a communication server. So, by using the Asterisk in your network environment, you can connect your employee from home to office PBX over broadband connection and you can also give them voicemail integrated with web and the email. Now I am going to install the requirement packages that are need for asterisk installation. These are the packages that are required for installing asterisk, GCC, PHP, MariaDB, server and etc. Now press enter. The packages that are need for installing Asterix has been get installed in my system. Now I am going to start set up the MariaDB. For that I need to enable the MariaDB service. For that command is systemctl enable MariaDB. Now the service has been get enabled. Now start the service. For that command systemctl start MariaDB. Now the MariaDB service has been get started for checking the status system CTL status MariaDB. Here you can able to see the status of the MariaDB. It is active one day running. Now I'm going to do the MySQL secure installation. For that command is MySQL underscore secure underscore installation and press enter and press Y to set the root password for MySQL type the password here now the password has been set for the root remove the anonymous users and press Y Y Y and it has get configured the MySQL secure installation now install the LIB Jensen Jensen is a C library for encoding, decoding and manipulating JSON data. For that I am going to download command is wget space the following link and press enter. The package has been get downloaded. Now extract the package for that command tar hyphen zxvf on the name of the file. Now the file has been get extracted. Now move inside the directory for that command cd on the name of the file and press enter for configuring give the command dot slash configure hyphen hyphen prefix equal to slash user and press enter the configuration process has been get completed now give the command make clean and press enter the make clean process has been get completed now give make now the make process has been get completed now give make install now the make install process has been get completed now i'm going to download the asterisk 13.10 from the official website for that duplicate on the following link and press enter the asterisk package has been get downloaded now you extract the package for that command is star space hyphen zxvf and the name of the file and press enter now the package has been get extracted. Now move inside the asterisk directory for that command cd asterisk and press enter. Now type the following command to make configure. For that command is dot slash configure hyphen hyphen lib dar equal to slash user slash lib64 and press enter. It has started to configure the Asterisk. The Asterisk package installation has been completed successfully. Here you can able to see the logo after the installation has been get completed. Now open the Asterisk main menu selection. For that type in the terminal make menu select and press enter. Here you can able to see it has opened the main menu selection for Asterisk. Now enable the format mp3. RES config in MySQL, app MySQL and CDR MySQL. Now move to the 
course on package and enable the wave ULAW, ALAW and G729, G722, SLN16, SARN7 and SARN14. After that give save and exit and press enter. Now for loading the mp3 libraries for that command is conterib slash scripts get underscore mp3 underscore source dot sh and press enter. Here you can able to see it has loaded the mp3 libraries for installing the modules type make in the terminal and press enter. Now the make process has been get completed. Now give make install and press enter. The make install process has been get completed. Now run the below command to install the sample configuration file. For that command is make sample and press enter. The make sample process has been get completed. Now give make config for making the configuration file and press enter. Now make configuration process has been get completed. Now create a separate user and give him a right to work with Aztec in order to start its service with its own user and group. For that execute the below command. First I am going to create the user in the name of Aztec. For that command is user add space hyphen m space Aztec. Now the user has been get added. Now give owner permission and group permission of Aztec to directory where run Aztec. For that command is ch1 hyphen capital R asterisk space slash where run asterisk and press enter. Now the permission has been given to the directory. Now give the same permission to that another directory for that command ch1 hyphen capital R asterisk space the path slash where slash open bracket lib comma log comma spool slash asterisk and press enter. Now the permission has been get set. For setting firewall rule, now start the firewall D for that command system CTL start firewall D. Now the service has been get started. Now enable the service and press enter for enabling the firewall service. Now the service has been get enabled. Now I'm going to add 5060 port to firewall for that command is firewall hyphen cmd hyphen hyphen zoom public hyphen hyphen add hyphen port equal to 5060 slash udp space hyphen hyphen permanent and press enter now add the same port number with tcp service now the service has been get added now add the port number 5061 for that command firewall hyphen cmd hyphen hyphen zoom equal to public hyphen hyphen add hyphen port equal to 5061 slash tcp hyphen hyphen permanent and press enter. Now the tcp has been get added. Now I give UDP. Now add the port number 4569 UDP and press enter. Now the port has been get added. Now add the 5038 TCP port and press enter. Now the port has been get added. Now add the range of port numbers from 10,000 to 20,000. For that port equal to 10,000 hyphen 20,000 slash UDP and press enter. Now the port has been get added. Now reload the firewall. Command firewall hyphen cmd hyphen hyphen reload. Now the firewall service has been get reloaded. Now set up the database for asterisk. For that I need to enter into the mysql mysql hyphen u root hyphen p. Now create a user in the name of asterisk. For that command create user asterisk at localhost identified by and here you have to type the password for that user now the user has been get created now create the da database asterisk for that command create database asterisk now the database has been get created now create another database 
cdrdb for that command create database cdrdb now the database has been get created now grant all permission to boot the directory to the asterisk user for that command grant all privileges on the name of the database dot star to the name of the user localhost identified by the password here now for another database cd rdb and presenter now the database has been given all the permission to the user asterisk now flush the privileges now the privileges has been get flushed now give exit now restart the asterisk service for that command is system CTN. restart asterisk and press enter now the asterisk service has been get restarted now enable the service system CTN. enable asterisk now the service has been get enabled now check the status of the asterisk service for that command system CTN. status asterisk and press enter here you can able to see the status of the asterisk it is running for launching asterisk type asterisk vvvc and press enter here you can able to see the asterisk is ready and here you can able to see the console for the asterisk thank you for watching